This is the incredible moment a Red Devil parachutist was caught in mid-air, at 1,000 feet by his teammate, after his chute failed to open during an air show. Thousands watched in horror as the soldier, from the Army Freefall display team startled violently kicking as he hurtled towards the ground, when his parachute became tangled during the Whitehaven air show. But his teammate managed to catch the soldier and wrap his legs around the deflated parachute, holding his colleagues' weight until they landed in the water at Queen's Dock on the Cumbrian coast last night. They were lined up to perform a maneuver called a stack where one jumper is directly under another when the chute collapse, or entanglement happened. Both parachutists are safe and sound and did not suffer any serious injuries, according to event organizers. Onlookers have said they felt sick as they watched them tangled together and swiftly falling towards the ground. They landed in the water as thousands of anxious viewers looked on shortly after 7 p.m. Everyone clapped when they both popped up in the water and there was a big sigh of relief that they were both safe. A rescue boat picked them up and one of them gave a wave to show he was safe, according to Miss Milne. She told BBC Breakfast, he was so frantically kicking his legs that there was something seriously wrong. It was amazing how he managed to get into the water and not hurt himself or the man above him. Brian Sherwin, official photographer at the event, said that one of the soldiers must have had incredible strength to hold the weight of his colleague and his chute. I was standing with the lads from the Red Arrows, and it was one of them who first noticed there was a problem. I zoomed in on them with my long lens, and I could see that one of the guy's parachutes have not opened properly, and he was falling. His partner steered over to him and kicking his legs, wrapped them around his parachute, holding his weight. It must have taken incredible strength. It was nail-biting. But it all happened so quickly. I did not have time to think about whether they would survive. Sergeant Baz Loftis, the safety operations manager on the ground for the Red Devils, refused to identify the two parachutists involved. The Red Devils are a team and we want to stay as a team, he said. We will need to watch the video to assess whether it was an individual or mechanical error. The stunt team always has a primary landing spot as well as a number of backup landing places, where they came down was a backup site. He added that the stricken parachutist was too close to the ground to deploy his emergency second parachute. Sergeant Loftus said, the team trained for this and this was an opportunity for their training to kick in. This could have been a dangerous situation, but we're trained to deal with dangerous situations. The Red Devils formed in 1963 and carries out more than 60 displays every year, according to its website. It currently comprises of 12 serving soldiers from the three battalions of the Parachute Regiment, all of whom have to have at least three years' experience. We can confirm that the Red Devil parachutists are both safe and sound. For the first time in 25 years they had a parachute fail, it said. One team member caught his teammate and brought him into Queen's Dock. Our safety procedures worked perfectly and a huge thank you to Whitehaven Marina for getting them out of the water so quickly.